Hi, I'm Laura Seligman, Aviation Week's Pentagon Editor. On September 13th, I got the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to fly in the back seat of a U.S. Air Force F-16 with the Air Force Thunderbirds. Thunderbird number 7, Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Walsh, walked me through all the maneuvers. It was cloudy and drizzling on the ground, but once we got above the clouds, the weather was perfect. We started out with the maneuvers performed by the Thunderbirds' four-ship diamond, which showcases how precisely and closely together the Thunderbirds can fly. First, we did what's called a clover loop. Kevin does about a 4G pull up over the top, and then right when he's pointed directly at the ground, he rotates 90 degrees to the left and comes out on the side. You can see a pretty cool smoke trail behind the aircraft. In a regular loop, it starts the same, but instead of turning, the pilot flies right through the smoke down at the bottom. Next, we did a barrel roll, which is essentially just a big roll in the sky. So those are the three main diamond maneuvers, clover loop, regular loop, and barrel roll. After that, we moved on to the solo maneuvers, which showcase the performance of the F-16. So because of that, there are very quick maneuvers and lots of high G. First, we did the knife edge. So in this, we pop up, sit on one wing, and fly on our side perfectly straight. This is at around 5,000 feet in the video, but normally in a show, the solo pilot does it at just 150 feet. An aileron roll is like a barrel roll, but super tight and quick. During the show, the Thunderbirds do four in a row. The eight-point roll is next, where the pilot takes a single aileron roll and divides it up into eight different chunks. Each section is a bit of a jerking motion. Now here is the slow roll, which is probably the hardest maneuver from a pilot's perspective because it's so difficult to roll the airplane slowly without gaining or losing any altitude. At negative 1G, you feel like you're being pulled out of the jet. The next maneuver is the four-point roll, and it's Kevin's least favorite maneuver because of the whipping motion between the four points. Finally, we get to Kevin's favorite man maneuver, the vertical roll. In this one, we get all the way down towards the bottom of the airspace, speed up to about 650 miles an hour, then we do a 7 to 8G pull into the vertical and corkscrew straight up. Then he rolls us back up on our back and we see our smoke trail behind us. After that, we do an inverted to inverted pass, where we roll upside down, fly for about a mile, then briefly get right side up, but keep on rolling back down until we are upside down again. Then we fly for about another mile. Yes, I kept my eyes open the whole time. It feels weird because you're literally suspended by your straps. The last two maneuvers are the really high G ones, and they show off the performance of the jet. So here we top out at 9 Gs, which is about the jet's limit. It only lasts about 10 seconds, but feels like an eternity because of the weight pushing down on your chest. The last maneuver we do is called the Max Turn Half Cuban 8. So first, Kevin rolls to the left, does a 7, 7.5G seven turn for a full 360, and then we roll out and pull 6, 7, maybe 8Gs in the vertical to make a figure 8. This one is probably the most physically demanding because even though it's not 9Gs, it's still 7Gs and it's sustained for a while. So that's Max Turn Half Cuban 8. Max turn means a minimum radius 360 degree turn, and the half Cuban 8 is a half of a figure 8 in the vertical. At the end of the flight, I actually got to fly the plane. It's a side stick, fly by wire, and it responds to your lightest touch. When I got my confidence up, I did a slow aileron roll by pushing the stick all the way to the left. So that's pretty much it. Thank you to my pilot, Lieutenant Colonel Kevin Walsh, who has been an F-16 guy his entire career and absolutely loves the jet, and of course you can tell. This is his final year in the Thunderbirds. Next up, he's hoping to be squadron commander at Osan Air Force Base, Korea. So thank you, Thunderbird number 7.